In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I create this tote bag using this and my Cameo 3 coming up. It's that zest, go, no, she must flow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome back to the Flex McKenzie channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy Flex McKenzie. And like I said, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I create this tote bag. Boom. Look at it. Uh-huh. How I create this using my Cameo 3 and this mat. What is this mat? I'll tell you during the video. Now, if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button, smash that like button for me, and share this video. And don't forget, please drop me a comment down below because it will help my video skyrocket. <sighs> okay, maybe not like that, but just drop me a comment. I don't mind answering questions. That's fine with me. And I might be going live within the next few weeks. I don't know, maybe. Depends, you know. You know, still got a little shyness in me. <laughs> okay, it's not so funny. Anyway, let's roll into the video.
Okay, so as you see um, <laughs> how much weeding I had to do, so, but there's more weeding I still have to be, do because I have to make four of the tote bags and I have like mm, three different kind of t-shirt I have to do, so that was just some of them I have to do, but I don't mind weeding, you know, it may take a while, but I really don't mind it. But yeah, the tote bag I'm gonna do, this is a forest. I guess forest green or forest, whichever color. It's 100% cotton. I mean, I'm gonna use this little thing, look like a big giant mouse pad, but um, I don't really think I need it um, for it, you know, but, cause I think it's, um, it will be fine on the heat press because it's not that, um, thick right here. It's kind of really thin on the edge if you can see it. So I don't really think I need this but I'm still gonna um, put it inside so um, Just to be on the safe side and this little thing. It's like I have like different sizes and blah 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 of this You know, I'm sure you guys want to know where I got it from but it's none of your business where I got it from All right, it's my business I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I got this from Heat Press Nation. Heat Press Nation. Um, so I'm going to put this inside of it, right? Fold it. You know, this is this is um, so that the the heat press will actually be able to um, Sorry, I'll explain in a second. Let's just get this in. Woo, see, it slips in there because this is a toe bag, so look at that. It just slips in there perfectly. Now, it's so that when I put the image on the bag, the print on the bag, it will help, you know, fluff it up a little so the print will be able to stick on it. Um, instead of, because, just because of this line this it's a little bit it's, it's thin but it's a little bit on the thick side so I'm just gonna be safe and put this inside of it anyway let me stop talking and let's press this bad boy the heat press is warming up I'm using cedar vinyl cedar vinyl I'm using white so it has to be at 305 for 15 seconds and this is a hundred percent cotton so the cedar vinyl will be fine using on it guys stop using those cheap vinyl you know go on ebay you're ordering those cheap vinyl just because it's cheap so you could save a buck or two get real vinyl get like the b flex get stall cedar weed you know those are like really good vinyl in my opinion so stop wasting your time on those cheap useless ebay vinyl what's wrong with you Get real vinyl. Anyway, let's go print this bad boy. I'm gonna have to um, adjust. I'm gonna have to adjust it. Woo, still need some adjustment. I'm adjusting it so that, um, boom! Yeah! Uh -huh. mm -mm -mm -mm. Ah, 
You guys see that magic? All right, so I got it done. Boom! Look at that. Look how beautiful that came out. Look at that. Mm? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, get yourself one. Came out wonderful using using this pad. So I got, I, I don't know the name of it, but I got it from um, Heat Press Nation. I'll find out what the name is. Maybe I'll put it along the screen right here. Yeah, you see it? Mm-hmm. Anyway, right, so this was very helpful. I think this make the job easy. So this is what our beautiful work look like. Okay, now let's get into printing one shirt before I let you guys get out of here. Okay, so now I have to um, readjust my heat press for the shirt. So, okay, so let's go print a shirt together and then I'll let you guys get out of here, go do what you have to do or you can watch another video of mine. For this, I'm using the B-Flex vinyl, so I do not need a cover sheet for the B-Flex vinyl. That's why I'm telling you guys, you better get it, okay? So this is 285, five seconds. Hey. Ooh! See what I'm talking about? Get yourself some B-Flex vinyl. So that's the B-Flex vinyl. Came out beautiful. Woo, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Use the B-Flex vinyl, Cedar vinyl, um, Stall vinyl. You know, don't go use those cheap eBay or Amazon vinyl. You know, you're not gonna get the same gorgeous result like I do. It may look gorgeous, but it ain't gorgeous. So, anyway, that's all I got for you. I got more shirts, but I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. So, if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button, and smash that like button for me. And what else we're gonna do? We're gonna share this video. And don't forget, thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it right here and go check out my vlog channel down in the description. Subscribe to that too. And as always, this is your boy Flex. I'm gonna do some more printing but I catch you on my next video. I'm out.